Boston EMS is bracing for the closure of Kearney Hospital in Dorchester. It comes after Stewart Healthcare signed agreements to sell four of the six Massachusetts hospitals it has been working to offload since filing for bankruptcy back in May. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa joins us live in Dorchester tonight with the impact this closure is going to have on surrounding communities. Tammy. Well, Courtney, it's been a heavy day. We saw patients and workers leaving Kearney Hospital in tears. This hospital has been a lifeline, but come tomorrow, it is closing for good, leaving much of this community still in shock. I'm really just devastated that it, it's closing. And I came down to say goodbye to Connie. I can't believe it's happening. Saying goodbye is never easy. For patients like Maria, it's especially gut-wrenching when it's a matter of life and death. This hospital has saved my life numerous times. For 35 years, she's relied on Kearney Hospital just minutes from her home for her severe COPD. Today, she came to say goodbye to the nurses who've helped her breathe. Overall feeling of heaviness, of desperation, fearfulness. What am I going to do now? I'm not the only one in this community that have chronic health issues and depend heavily upon this hospital. Come Saturday morning, Kearney and Neshoba Valley Medical Center and AIR will close for good in the wake of the Stewart Healthcare bankruptcy that's forcing the hospital closures. Elizabeth leaving the ER in tears. I feel very, very sad. That's the hospital for the community. It all became so real when the hospital stopped accepting ambulances and workers packed up for the last time. Like Claude, who's worked at Kearney for nine years. Luckily, he was able to find another job, but others are still looking. I feel really depressed to know that I work here for the past nine years at Kearney Hospital and it's a wonderful community. The people are very friendly here and it's very sudden to know that we have to close the door. The state says it's now laying out its plans to support communities impacted. For the next week, there'll be standby ambulances 24-7 at both hospitals for patients who come to the ER. Officials are trying to figure out transportation options for patients who need to travel to new hospitals. Plus, they're working to transfer medical residents from Kearney to other hospitals where they can continue their training. To see it just decline like that and for greed to um, overstep humanity, it's really heartbreaking and it's like, where is this country going to? The state says it also plans to create a transition website and call center so people in the community can call to get their questions answered and also find new care. Live in Dorchester, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News.